Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Devin Steffen. And I'm Lorenzo Carlos. Today is Wednesday, November 13th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. Seniors, if you need any assistance with your college admission essays, please check the schedule for the workshop dates on screen. They will be held in HL HL7 from 3.45 to 5.30 p.m. For any questions, please check your Synergy email. The Chinese American Student Association will hold an informational meeting tomorrow in HP2 from 3.45 to 4.20 Please stop by if you're interested about learning more about CASA. You may also contact the co-president, Lena Lee, for any questions. Now, let's tune in to Joseph and May for entertainment. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Joseph Jefferson. And I'm Mehen Dumont, and we're here with your entertainment update. In shocking news, Mu Dang is being canceled as of recently because she accurately predicted that Donald Trump was going to win the election. People are writing mean messages and even threatening violence on this baby hippo because she voted for Trump. And X hasn't been nice to her for the past 36 hours. Moving on to more celebrity related news, famous actor Megan Fox has announced on her Instagram that she's expecting a baby with her fiance Machine Gun Kelly. Her post showcases her growing belly and a positive preg pregnancy test. Fox and Machine Gun Kelly shared four children with past partners but this new child will be their first together. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm Joseph. And I'm May. And, and let's, let's go, go back, back to the, the anchors. anchors. Wow, I can't believe that a hippo really got canceled. Yeah, people cancel anything nowadays. The Feeding Futures Club is hosting their first canned food drive. It will go until November 19th. Please donate dry or canned foods now to the leadership room. You will be rewarded with PBS points for each can. Now let's pass on over to Kainoa and Raymond for sports. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Raymond Cattrall. And I'm Kainoa Reed. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with your, your weekly, weekly sports, sports update. update. To start off, we would like to con congratulate Gabby Williams and Sydney Shu for defending their title in tennis doubles, defeating Del Ora in the finals scoring 3-6, 6-0, and 10-6, and are now two-time CIF section champions. I'd also like to congratulate the Varsity Boys Cross Country team for making it to sections for the first time in five years. They were led by the record holder for CO's two mile, Seamus Sweeney. Good luck at sections, guys. Transitioning over to boxing news, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson will be stepping into the ring this Friday, November 15th. You can stream the live event on Netflix starting at 5 p.m. Pacific time. In the NFL, the San Francisco 49ers beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 23-20, now with the record of 5-4. And, and the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Denver Broncos 16-14, staying undefeated with a record of 9-0. Over to the NBA, Clay Thompson made his return last night playing against the Golden State Warriors. He was a Warrior for 13 years, winning four championships with them before going to the Dallas Mavericks. That's, well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Kainoa Reed. And I'm Raymond Cachal. And let's go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks for that, guys. November is Native American Heritage Month. In case you didn't know, there are 571 federal distinguished tribes in the United States. Wow. Well, that's all from us today, Wolfpack. Have a whimsical Wednesday. I'm Devin Steffen. And I'm Lorenzo Carlos. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Indian, Indian Pudding, Pudding Day, Wolf Pack. Wolf pack.